Well, the trade deadline is over, y'all. And the biggest Nick news, other than Mook Morris being traded, is that we have a new president, Mr. Leon Rose, and CAA. We got World Wide West, and we don't even know what role he's going to be in. Perry was there for the trade deadline, but quite honestly, I don't know if Perry is a lame duck GM now or not. I don't know if Miller's a lame duck coach or not. I'm not, woe is me, guys. Okay, so let's slow that down. I'm, I'm just forecasting and, and, and assessing all this information. Now, there's a bunch of people on Twitter that say, oh, this is a great move. It's a great move. You'll see. Of course we'll see. We don't really have a choice. Uh, and there are people that are killing it, crushing it. What are we doing? What are we doing? I understand that. You know, at first, I was one of those. Definitely earlier when the, when the news first broke, I was completely displeased because we have experience with CAA before and Andre Bagnani and a couple of other things that really didn't bode well for us. And yes, while I get it, you know, hey, as the agent, he got to do what's best for the client. So if you flip that, now that we're the client, he's going to do what's best for us. Yeah. Yeah, I, I guess. But again, all of this remains to be seen because he is uh, inexperienced as a president. He just is. And I don't care how many connects you have, you know, experience in a role is important. You know, so we'll see. I just, at the end of the day, I just don't want this to be uh, in 2024. We are rebuilding again or tearing something down again. That's all. You know, I, I want us to get back to where when the season starts, we're not thinking lottery and bottom feeder. We're thinking maybe seventh, eighth seed, you know, six seed perennial, fifth seed, you know, something. For like multiple seasons in a row. Something where we could comfortably cheer for and have hope that, you know, that team could possibly win a ring. So we gotta see, you know, it's but nobody is right and nobody is wrong day one of somebody's hiring because there's literally no evidence to either. It's all speculation, it's all just gut feeling. And at the end of the day, that's really all we have to work with, guys. You know, we got to see what's going to happen. So far, though, I will say I'm a tad underwhelmed with the uh, trade deadline. I don't like to speak ill of folk, but I did expect uh, Ellis to be moved. Uh, Ellington, excuse me, to be moved. Uh, Bullock, I thought, might end up being in a trade package, but... Not necessarily him on Dolo because, quite honestly, his his contract is is beneficial and he's been solid. So, you know, to me, we can keep him. Everybody was screaming Portis. To be perfectly honest with you, and no disrespect, Bobby, but I didn't see a trade package for you. I just didn't. You know, backup center. You know what I mean? And the defense is okay. You shoot the three sometimes, and that's cool. But I just didn't see anybody clamoring for, for that position during this trade deadline. So maybe Houston, but they even traded Jordan Bell a second time. So they literally don't want a center <laughs> other than Tyson Chandler on their roster. <laughs> so, yeah, I just didn't see a, a big man market out there for you right now. And that Andre Drummond trade was kind of ridiculous for both. I, I don't know how that moves the needle for anybody, Cleveland or Detroit, to be perfectly honest with you. But I'm well. Uh, Clips, good job. You got my main man, Mook. And I actually think if everything goes well and chemistry goes well, that might actually put you all over the top. Just might. Just might. Not sure. Not sure. Because, listen, the lake is still tough. Uh, if they do get Darren Collison, uh, fine. 
working out JR, I don't think it's going to move that needle much. It'll, it'll add some... You know, it's like LeBron needs a Lance Stevenson type with him. He needs a knucklehead in the locker room. I don't know why, but that's just my vibe off that. Because why are you clamoring for J.R. Smith right now? I don't know. But it is what it is. Uh, so all in all, it was an interesting uh, trade deadline. I don't really know what Andrew Wiggins does for Golden State. Because at the end of the day... You don't fix N NBA players, you know, you don't fix them, you know, they, they kind of fix themselves or they are who they are. And I don't know what's going on with Andrew Wiggins, but I mean, that dude is a walking, walking potential with no commitment for follow through. You got all the tools in the world that don't use them and don't seem to want to use them. Or at least on a consistent basis, like every game type stuff. So that'll be interesting. We'll see. D'Angelo Russell, I think people were really discounting how good that young man is, and that's a shame. But he's going to prove him. He's going to prove him. I like that kid. I really do. Miami Heat have quietly gotten extremely strong, and they're probably my second team out of the East now. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, second or third, but Boston is still there to me. So second or third, but Milwaukee is just yeesh. I mean, <laughs> beastie. You know? I mean, I'm looking forward to these playoffs, and we're still months away from that. But I think that's going to be exciting, and I think this trade deadline just really kind of guaranteed that we're going to have a fun behind playoffs. So that's cool. So all in all, there and this year really as a whole, there were a lot of big moves this year, which I guess that tells me number one, teams did a good job in the offseason because they didn't need much. Uh, but it was a good time. It, 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 it was a good, quiet little trade that night. I like that the Knicks were kind of low-key about it and weren't like, Broadcasting and moves left and right and all of that. And even that misinformation with Dr uh, Drummond a couple of weeks ago. To me, that was all misinformation on purpose, and I dig it. You know, you, you got to throw your feelers out there, and you really got to see what's out there. But all in all, at the end of the day, Mo Harkless, I don't know if he's going to be a piece for us or not going forward in the future, but he's a good trade piece. You know, he's a good vet, and he's from Queens. Went to uh, St. John's. Enough respect, dude. No doubt. You know, if you can be a player for us, then that's what's up. Uh, but we're young. We, 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 we are reestablishing the youth side of what we're doing. And if these new agents that we have at the helm, if they have this influence or what have you, we'll see it come draft. Because I'm pretty sure we're going to make another trade or two uh, at that point as well. So that'll be cool. You know. So, all right, I'm on my way to work. Dreary day. The trade deadline was interesting. The all-star break is coming up next. I got a new camera, so I will definitely be doing the next full show this weekend. Billy Hoyle, you're in there. Nicotata, you're in there. I appreciate everybody who follows. I appreciate everybody who subscribes. I appreciate everybody who interacts with me on Twitter. Even the cats that seem to not like me. I like you too. Okay? Just another with the trolling, okay? Not the troll. We don't do the troll. But everything else is gravy. I love you all. It's always entertaining. We always have these wonderful discussions that are end up being very robust. So, next Twitter, go main two. Right on. I'll talk to y'all later.